Welcome back to the lab, folks. So today, uh, I just want to uh, give you a little update on um, my experiment so far with ESP32 CAM. And I haven't gone very far with it. Uh, I want to save that for a video, but I did try this out just to see if I needed to put drivers in or something for it. It's supposed to be an FTDI FT232R. Uh, but when I plugged it in, um, nothing really happens, nothing at all for about uh, 10 seconds or seven seconds. And then it, it gets an unknown USB device error pops up in uh, device manager. And you can see that there on the screen. Yeah, so a device descriptor request failed. Usually that would be, you know, like the USB cable itself is, is no good and it's not transmitting data. In that case, is that's not correct because I use this with my my phone all the time and it works perfectly. I can copy data on and off it. No problem at all. Or it means that the, the chip is, is unrecognized or no good. It didn't respond to the normal USB request for a device descriptor. Uh, it could be the chip is dead, it could be there's you know, something wrong with the board, it could be the chip is a fake. Uh, and they've also they've scrubbed the, the information off it. I mean, they've sanded it off. Uh, what a ridiculous thing to do. I mean, this this is a USB to serial converter. It, they, these, are, these are common everywhere. They're all over the place. Every, you know, there's about 15 different manufacturers out there make these things. They make them in different sizes, shapes, colors. I mean, they're a very common device. If somebody from first year college couldn't put one of these together, they will never get a degree in electronics. Um, it, it's, you know, it's a very simple device. It, it, taking the information off the chip is just a stupid move. But there you go. And of course, the, um, the store on AliExpress is fighting this tooth and nail, making me jump through all sorts of hoops. I'm not going to bother anymore. I'll just put them down on my list of people not to deal with. I'm not gonna jump through hoops for two bucks. Anyway, uh, that's it. Just a warning. Uh, don't bother buying that. I'm going to take it out of uh, my description in, in the video that I put it into or put a big warning beside it. Uh, don't buy one of these. I'm, if you already have, I apologize. I should have tested it before I put it in. But uh, yeah, you know, 90% of them might work, but I got one that didn't and the store is uh, being the real purpose of today's video is, is to build a little um, outlet, or I should say extension cord for my power meter. So what I wanna do is I wanna be able to plug the power meter, back here I have uh, these power bars. I wanna be able to plug the power meter into that and have it out here where I can see it rather than having to pull out a big extension cord with multiple outlets on it. So I'm gonna build a single outlet one by using one of these single outlet uh, inserts here into one of my little cases that I have hundreds of, well, not quite hundreds, dozens anyway. I'm just gonna put that down here so that they can plug into it and maybe put a little, a little, uh, excuse me, a little uh, rubber post up here or something like that so it sits even. So that's my main purpose today. So uh, what I gotta do is I gotta make a funny shaped hole in this to get this thing in. So I'm going to do that first. And then this simply wired up. I'll have to drill a hole in here for the cable. And uh, that's it. That's uh, basically what I'm going to do today. And uh, I'm just going to get right to it. So first things first, I've got to make that uh, funny shaped hole. So I'll have to get uh, have to get my caliper out and measure everything, mark it down on the thing, and then I'll use a, a nibbler. I have one of those nibbling tools. You know the type uh, and then I'll just nibble out that hole and keep nibbling away at it until it fits okay that's approximately the shape of the hole I'm going to have to make here but uh, yeah we'll, we'll do it as you know the frig and try method I'm a little bit off here but uh, we'll get it in there okay that's what I got so far let's see how close I came oh very nice it's in there really good. So these these springs, because the plastic is kind of thick, the little spring side clips don't kind of get their edge around the plastic. So there's nothing really going to hold it in. And there's nothing I can do about that. Um, well, maybe there is, maybe there is. If I file these in at an angle, that might work. 
So let me let me try that and see if that helps us out. Okay, I've got a bevel on them there. Let's see, uh, well, maybe this one needs a little bit more on this edge here. This plastic is really nice and workable. It's, it's really good that way. Yeah, see if that snaps in a little bit better now. Of course, a little bit of glue will help tremendously. Oh, okay, that, that that's very nice. That's very good. Okay, that and a little bit of glue and we should be fine. All right, I'm just going to then uh, drill the hole for this cable in here and get a grommet in, feed it in, and uh, wire it up. Okay, I've got the hole in there and a grommet in the hole. Every time I say grommet, I think of a TV show called Wallace and Gromit. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. Uh, but hey, I used to watch that back in the 80s. I haven't watched it in a long, long time. It was quite amazing when it came out. Quite a good show, actually. A lot of uh, decent humor in it. And I, I just love this, the stop, uh, what do they call that, stop animation? Uh, they did a really nice job. They had, you know, things would move and swing back and forth and stuff like that. Some stuff that were never done before, they did in that. They made a very good, uh, very good show. Cheese. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm just going to clean things up a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, hot glue in behind these, these uh, spring legs here, if you can see them. So that they don't compress back in again. And that way the socket won't come back out although it's in there pretty good now but that's just another way to prevent it from coming out all right and then wire it up and i'll be back when that's all done okay we've got it all wired up here i'm gonna put on a little tie wrap in here as a bit of a strain relief i've already put on two layers of uh, heat shrink in there with the hot melt glue in it so it shouldn't pull through that grommet but we'll put this on as a secondary fail safe. There we go. And just, this is strange. This is a, a US plug. This is a strange reminiscent, reminiscent of, uh, of British wiring colors. Weird, huh? All right, it's all snapped in there. Now let's just see if we got uh, got it wired up right. Okay, so yeah, should be ground. It's not. Is there any reason why? It's not. The meter's not working properly. What's going on here? What have I done? Oh, that's not properly plugged in. That's what's. Okay, better. Right. This should be over here. This should be over here. Not there, not here, and this should also not be there, and not here. Okay, that's very good, very good. Now, let me plug this into it and see what kind of clearance we have there. So, okay. Get out my package of rubber, silicone rubber dot things and try to come up with something that's about right here. Maybe... That looks good. Yeah, that'll do. So I'll put one of these on here. I don't think I'll be taking this in and out too much. And then I'll put some uh, little rubber feet on it so it won't slide around too much.
All right, that's pretty good there. That has a permanent home here. And let's plug it in. There we go. Perfect. I could have it there or there or wherever I need it. And then it'll just sit happily in underneath the shelf over there when not in use. Okay. All right, that's it, folks. That's all I had today. Very, very simple little project just to help me out around the lab here. So uh, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, click like, subscribe, do all that marvelous stuff. And uh, don't buy that, uh, this thing. Don't buy this. All right. Thank you very much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.